What's up gang? Welcome to my new Let's Play. Actually, this is more of a, a panic Let's Play than anything else. Because originally, uh, my plan was to do Divinity Original Sin with my good friend Slender Dan, but he's busy. So, in the interim, I'm going to be doing Warhammer 40k Space Marine, which is a third-person shooter set in the Warhammer 40k universe, as you can see with Captain Titus of the Ultramarines beating up some orcs in the background with his bolter, pistol, and his power, and his chainsword. So, uh, if you don't know the history of this, if you don't know about this game, you basically play as one of the Ultramarines. You'll land on a... I, I, f I forget which Forge planet it, Forge World is. Uh, I forget already, but you're supposed to save the Forge World from these orcs, and then there's uh, things that happen later on. You play as this guy, the dude is all shooty, 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 bang, bang, stab, stab, kill, kill. With a bunch of other Ultramarines, and it's really a nice, good old fun time of killing things. So, let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, 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 I know. I finished this game already, but I thought I'd play it again because it's so fun! And to those of you that don't know, which is all of you, I am also a big Warhammer 40k fan. Which is like, when this thing, when this game came out, I... I and probably like a billion other people across the planet just sort of... Just sort of squealed in collective glee. Graia, ah yeah, that's the one. That's, yeah, that's the Forge World, it had... Yeah, it's a forge world. It's got factories and foundries and things. Manufactorum Majakis, where they make all the uh, walkers and the tanks and all the other things. All the wonderful, glorious things that the uh, Imperium of Man used for the war machines. Yeah, there's Warlord Class Titan. They just basically want... <laughs> the Ultramarines are basically there to stop the orcs from getting that Titan. That's it, pretty much. Xenos. Filth. Hey. <laughs> Oh crap, I just realized I don't- <laughs> Exterminatus? Nah. Exterminatus is basically, they will come in, uh... Uh... An Exterminatus is when the, uh... An order is given- Oops. Cat, cat collector. Uh... To, um, by, by the... By the, uh, central- no, not the central imperium. The, uh, uh, uh... Uh, 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 what's it called? Like, like, the, the, the people above. Like, they want some- they want people- they want this planet, like, dead. Dead, dead. So they- so, so essentially, Exterminatus is like, you send like a whole bunch of capital- uh, a whole bunch of capital vessels, they come in and just sort of laser and bombard the planet until everything is dead and nothing's left. That is Exterminatus, I think, or that, um, it might be something before, like something bef not as severe as the planet-wide bombing, but I am not too sure. Avid fans of Warhammer 40k, please back me up on this. I do believe it's a planet-wide, the, the planet-wide extermination bombing thing. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we're getting sent in. We are the Ultramarines. Strike Cruiser Fury of Descent. Status planetary evasion in progress plus nine turn days. <laughs> nine turn days. Objective secure the Titans, but of course it'll develop into something further, which uh, we'll we'll see. In the, uh, through the progress of the story. It's been like two weeks since I uploaded my, uh, since I've uploaded a video, so don't panic. I'm still alive. I'm just waiting on Dan's schedule to be free. The orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. Not all of them. And they have taken the planetary defense weapon. That's bad. Clever of the damned orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machine. Like that. Oh no. Report. Jetpacks, yes, of the assault, famous uh, for it for for the for their use in the assault marines, who normally wield uh, bolt pistols and chain swords. And for those of you that we need to get to the surface to take out the gun battle. What do you want to go home already, sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the orcs. Is that wise, captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all this. It's so good. He's, look, he's gotta love the Warhammer 40k series to being so blatant, so just so over the top with like everything they do. Like these guys, the Space Marines, seven foot tall super soldiers. 
genetically and biotechnically advanced. Uh, they're basically they're they're picked from one of the handful of many uh, recruitment worlds uh, that uh, each of the twelve Space Marine chapters uh, make make their homes and stuff like that. For example, the Ultramarines uh, their home world is the home and recruitment world is Ultramar. Where you know, all these people in blue come from? Ha! Yeah. I have my I have an I have a combat knife right now. I'll get the chainsaw later, but for now, combat knife and bolter, 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 bang, 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 bang. And these little things, these are uh, what are they called? Remnants. Oh, and look, there's the there's the orcs. These are the these are the regular these are the regular slasher boys. I think they're called or war boys or, or something. I can't remember. War boys? No, no. War boys is uh, war boys is a uh, friggin' uh, what's it called? Uh, was it Mad Max? Not the <laughs> Warhammer for the kid. Getting it wrong. Ow! Foul green skin filth. Thank you. Die. Trying to explain the game and its lore here. So, Space Marines. Yes, they are. Whoops. They are seven foot, seven foot tall ish. Ah! Like genetic, super powered, enhanced super soldiers, basically. And. All they exist for is murder, 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 murder. They're basic. I think they're kind of like they're basically welded in, not really welded in this armor, like, but like they can't get out with the armor even if they tried. So, reload. So our objective now: take out this ship. Oh God! Kill the spice marines. Kill the spice marines. Here. Have that. <laughs> yeah, so you can. So in this, so in this game, unlike other third-person shooters, you don't actually have regenerating health. Instead, the way you regenerate health is you, is you stun enemies like that and then you execute them. Basically, cinematic kills to get you health. Your health does not regenerate. Your shields do, but your sh your health does not. Come fight me! Come fight me, green skin. Oh, never mind. Sorry, you don't have a head anymore. Along with the along with the rest of you. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's a that's a that's a war boss I think. Is that a no? No, it's not a knob. It's a it's a hi. Oh look, shooter boys. Oh god, grenades. Other than that, this function basically this functions just like every other third-person shooter out there, except with a lot more uh, yelling and space marines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stun this guy and get back some health like this. Bam. Come here. Stab. Dead. Nope. Ow. Oh no, they're going for a warg. Ow. Sure. I want a chainsaw so badly this knife has such a short range. Ugh. 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 Lots of these or grunts all dead. Here, have a taste of your own guns. Yeah, you better run. Stupids. And he's like calmly watching as the orc ship crashes with him on board. Because, you know why? Because Space Marines, that's why. Granted, the Ultramarines are kind of like one of the most boring chapters in all of the Warhammer 40k franchise, specifically because they're just the... They are the stereotypical good guys in blue. Like, if you ask, like, the, the like, Warhammer 40k fans that are bigger fans than I am, their, their, their favorite chapters are probably someone else other than the Ultramarines. Like, for example, mine are the Space Wolves. Who share a much richer background history than the Ultramarines? For example, their primarch was Liman Rus, the uh, creator of one of my favorite, all, one of my all-time favorite tanks, the Liman Rus battle tank. Oh, however the hell you pronounce his name. <laughs> Not a big, that big a fan as uh, other people on the internet. I don't play the uh, the the associated tabletop games, sadly, because I don't have the money to fund such a uh, to fund such a hobby. Captain Titus, come in. Damned orcs shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought that he would be left alive. 
much less still fighting. Heading toward the front lines now. I will meet you there. Okay, brief background. Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard are basically stereotypical human army. They're not these guys, they're not seven foot tall super soldiers. They're just your regular dudes armed with laser rifles and laser cannon. Laser cannons, chain guns, all that sort of no belt, not chain guns, but like players most mostly laser powered weaponry and the, the, the main difference between the Space Marines and the Imperial Guard is that where the Space Marines, uh, this, the, the Space Marines, their offense is through uh, application of extreme deadly force. The Imperial Guard overpowered by numbers more than anything else. So if you see, if you compare and contrast the Space Marine uh, chapter and a, a battalion of Imperial Guards uh, and the way they fight, the Space Marine chapter usually is like what? A couple, like a hundred guys ish. Uh, I, uh, oops, oops. A hundred, like a hundred Space Marines or so, and like their their weaponry is kind of like this, this uh, like this guy. They've got, they're, yeah, they're 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 super tall. They got power armor that soaks up a lot of hits. Uh, they've got chainsaws. They got what the hell? What am I stuck on? They got chainsaws. They've got bolters, which are essentially grenade launchers. For, uh, in, <laughs> they are it's essentially grenade launchers. Uh, you know, like chain guns, melters, all these things. And you look at the Imperial Guard and compare and contrast me, Captain Titus, to these guys, these poor, these poor saps lying dead on the ground. Regular human soldiers, not barely armored. Their armor is basically paper compared to everything else in the Warhammer 40 universe, including the armor I'm wearing now. Like the, even the weapons, the the last rifles aren't that bad, but they're they, basically they are squish and they're. Hey, a bolter! Say, so, say, I got a bolt pistol, a bolter. The, uh, the 998 God, yeah, I can see the caliber of this thing. It's 998. Gordon Pattern Bolter characteristic Space Marine battle rifle, firing self-propelled explosive rounds, basically a grenade launcher. Oops, enter. Oh, click. Dur. This light voice. I'm gonna kill him. Space Marine. Bang, 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 bang. Move splat. So the way these, the way. Okay, well, where was I? Oh yeah, yeah. Space Marines and Imperial Guard. Yeah, this, the, the, space, the Space Marines, they attack by way of brute force, not so much numbers as is brute force, whereas the Imperial Guard is basically numbers, numbers, numbers. We will swarm you until until our corpses cause us, we will swarm over our, uh, the corpses of our fallen. What do you mean the humans all alone? I'm right here. And I'm a, and like the Imperial Guard, yeah, basically think of them as like your regular military. Oh, hi. Yeah. That, that's enough to kill an orc. Saving concept, is it enough to Destroy them! Oh, hey! Back up! Yeah, and... But, not, not, not to say that the Imperial Guard aren't badasses for... Especially for the Imperial Guard regiments that uh, inhabit the... Uh, the the uh, what are, they, what, what are those called? The the the, the 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 ones where like all the flora and the fauna are basically exclusively killing people, or, like basically everything on the planet is trying to kill. I can't remember what those worlds are called. Savage worlds? Planet worlds? Whatever. But like, there's this world in the in the, uh, in, the in the in the 40k lore called Katachan. and essentially what Katachan is, it's a it's a place where they breed badasses. Like every single Imperial Guardsman on that planet, if you don't. If you survive, you are a, you are a badass because literally everything on that planet is trying to kill you. There's like like the, the plants, the animals, the air, <laughs> and the Imperial Guard regiments that are stationed on Katachan and are formed on Katachan, like they get their manpower from Katachan, they are basically some filled with like some of the biggest ba biggest badass Imperial Guardsmen the world, the galaxy has to offer. And compared to the uh, space marine, space marines, the imperial guardsmen are slightly squishy. The imperial guardsmen are obviously squishier, but where, yeah, like I, like I've reiterated again and again, their numbers. Are you wounded? The codex is starting to warn against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the codex so now? I looked at its rules for days. We all In different ways, Brother Leandros. There are also benefits to thinking of yourself. Yeah, the Space Marines are pretty much by themselves. A single Space Marine is a one-man army compared to 
uh, compared to an Imperial Guardsman. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wow, that's a whole load of... I forgot what these guys are called. Oops. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Oh. <laughs> I think they're all dead. They're, they're called grunts, I think, or squeeze or some other random squishy name. Anyway, that's it for that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta!